All right, my friends, we're going to look at uh, seven proven ways to boost your retirement income according to Yahoo Finance uh, through Motley Fool's website. I thought this would be pretty interesting to look at. So let's see if we can't, uh, yeah, here we go, make it bigger. Good. All right, so uh, this is written uh, from Selena Marangian from uh, September, uh, February 23rd, 2019. It is through the Motley Fool. And uh, look, I, Motley Fool is fine. I just, every now and again, it's fun to, uh, to pick on him a little bit uh, because this is... <laughs> This is a pretty trite article. No other way around that. Who says you have to live on a fixed income in retirement, says Selena. Sure, your Social Security checks might be fixed for each year, but they're likely to be increased at least a little in many or most years to account for inflation. There are lots of other ways that your retirement income can increase, often with you making it happen. Here's a look at three things you can do to boost your retirement income. Number one, save more aggressively and invest effectively. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Wow, who knew? <laughs> for, for, uh, first, a perhaps obvious strategy, sock away more money and be sure you're investing it effectively. You might think that, say, 5000 per year in your retirement account is enough, but unless you run the numbers, you may un be understaving by a lot. Much depends, too, on how long you'll be investing for. The earlier you start, the less painful it'll likely be. Check out the tables to show the, to show the power of starting early. Um, like I'm just not going to get this because we see these tables all the time. 10000 for 20 years is worth $494,000 uh, invested each year. 10000 for 30 years is worth $1.2 million. Great. Uh, I just, uh, that gets old seeing all these numbers and tables. 10000 a year is worth this. All right, so I, so I just find number one, uh, how to boost your proven ways to boost your retirement income, save earlier and aggressively and save more as well. You think? All right. Uh, assume an 8% you annual know, growth rate. That's what they're using there too. Okay, good. I, if you haven't seen those tables yet, uh, let me know because we can do them in two seconds spot on Excel. If you invested 10000 a year for 30 years at 8%, you'd have $1.2 million. Okay. Boring. Uh, number two, make the most of retirement accounts. Another way to have more money in retirement is be strategic about your retirement accounts. For starters, if your workplace offers a 401k plan, participate it. At least enough so you can take advantage of any available matching funds. You think? When a traditional 401k, you contribute pre-tax money, reducing your taxable income for the year and thereby reducing your taxes too. Taxable income of $70,000 on a, in a $6,000 contribution, your taxable income drops to $64,000. Uh, don't do that. Put it into the Roth. Ay, ay, ay. The money grows in your account when you withdraw it, its taxes ordinary income rate, which is often lower than your current rate. I disagree with that 100%. Uh, not for everybody, but for many, especially when you factor in taxes on Social Security, on your Medicare premiums, on ordinary dividends, and qualified dividends, and on long-term capital gains. And on the fact that if you're married filing jointly and your spouse dies, you are no longer married filing jointly. You're a single taxpayer. Thus, you're going to have a higher tax bracket without question because you're no longer having the advantage of two standard deductions. <sighs> Someone should write a book on this. Oh, yeah, I did. With a Roth IRA uh, 401k, employers are increasingly offer Roth IRA 401ks, uh, 401ks. You contribute post-tax money that doesn't reduce your taxable income at all. Taxable income of $70,000 and a $6,000 contribution, your taxable income remains at $70,000 for the year. Uh, here's why a Roth are well worth it. Your money accumulates and grows in your account until you withdraw it tax-free. Uh, see, so you can uh, they're called catch-up contributions. I hope they have more than that for why you should do the Roth. That's it. Uh, they just say tax-free. Okay. Um, Here's what, okay. There's more reasons to do it uh, than that, but okay. And number three, work a few more years. <laughs> Finally, this strategy may seem like a drag, but it's powerful and worth considering. Work a few more years uh, than you planned, and the benefits are, A, that'll make your retirement shorter by a few years. I agree with that. So your nest, your nest egg will have fewer years in which to support you. Uh, it'll give you more, a few more years in which you can sock away money into retirement. I agree with that. It can help delaying Social Security uh, benefits, and delaying will make those Social Security checks bigger. I agree with that. And it can keep you on your employer's health care plan longer. I agree with all that. It's just, again, trite. Financial planning recommendations. I told you yes, or I think yesterday, I think a guy was saying, hey, my financial, I went to a bunch of financial advisors, and they told me to save more and work longer. That's exactly what is being said here. Uh, there are lots of other ways to increase your retirement income, such as buying an annuity that increases payments over time to keep up with inflation or socking your portfolio with dividend payers that increase their payouts over time. 
Uh, buying an annuity, my friends, that increases over time with inflation, I, you cannot convince me. I mean, look, I'm willing to be convinced. I have yet to see the annuity on a single premium income annuity that does that, that makes it worth your while. I just don't. I, again, that doesn't mean they're out there, but I mean, look, I, I completely in agreement with that. If I can buy an annuity that keeps up with inflation, that gives me value today as well, it makes sense. But I'm telling you, I crunched the numbers on the ones we offer at USAA, and then on top of that, the ones through uh, immediateannuities.com, and I, I don't see the benefit of that at all. All right, well, anyway, with that said, I thought you'd get a kick out of that. I know I did. Um, you know, again, nothing wrong with the Motley Fool. I just, uh, I, it's, I mean, this, this is just such limited thinking in terms of retirement planning. Work longer, contribute to 401k, save more, save more aggressively. I just, ah, oh, man, it just gets old. Come on, man. We got to come up with some better ideas than this because these three are, are silly and, uh, and infantile, to be perfectly honest with you. But, I mean, I mean, look, will it work for some people? Sure, absolutely. But everyone says this stuff, and I just, ah, uh, just, anyway, I had to chuckle. Uh, we'll, we'll look at some other articles I've been looking at here in just a few minutes. So stay tuned, stick with me and we'll see you next time. Thanks now.